Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. Today we're here to talk about the BTS Vogue GQ Louis Vuitton collaboration. We've got multiple covers, we've got a fashion film. There is a lot to talk about and they've served a lot of different looks. I know what my favourite is. We'll delve into all of that in this video. Just a little bit about my fashion background before we get into it. I studied fashion design at university where I specialized in menswear and then I went on to work in the fashion industry for four years where I worked with affordable brands, contemporary designers and British heritage brands. Let's get stuck into the first cover. The beautiful covers. Starting off with the Vogue covers and we're gonna start off with the black and white cover. And the first thing I notice is how beautiful the black and white portrait is. And then obviously the contrasting Vogue BTS in the color. And I love the fact that we're getting that Louis Vuitton monogram throughout the text. It's just really subtle, but a really clever way to, you know, put that Louis Vuitton branding in our faces. <laughs> the comp the, <laughs> the what? The composition of the shot is just perfection. We have beautiful levels and each member is just lit so perfectly. It's like the perfect moody black and white portrait, but it's not so moody that you lose details. It's just the balance of it is just right. And what I really love about this cover is that V and Sugar are both wearing the suit from their American Music Awards red carpet. Looking at the suits here and also looking at the individual images, later on it does look like the fabric is different the fabrics of the ama suits it looked heavier and it had like a different finish to it whereas when you look at the finish of these suits it looks like a lighter wool tailoring fabric and in my opinion i think it works a lot better obviously there was issues of creasing and crumpling on the red carpet and i feel like you're not going to get that with this fabric also the fact that everything here would have been freshly steamed they wouldn't have been sat in a car for hours before being photographed. So that is the difference. You can see how crisp and beautiful the suits are in this editorial. Another thing that is so great about this image is how each member has been styled differently and it reflects their personal style. When we look at Jin and V, they've got the shirt and the ties. Jin has a very classic, clean style. And then V always seems to have this kind of like 70s businessman vibe about him, unless he's doing like the super casual vibe. And you can see that in the styling here. And then Jimin and RM, their styling is leaning slightly more contemporary. The fact that we've got that waistcoat on Jimin with the waist belt, the roll neck underneath. And then the same with RM, this really sharp tailored jacket, single breasted notch lapel with the black roll neck underneath. I'm curious to see what the whole suit is like because when it comes to tailoring, RM seems to be a hard one to get right with their stylist. So I'm curious to see the full look, but judging from what we can see, it's sharp and it fits him really beautifully. Sugar styling is the perfect balance between that classic and contemporary vibe. He's got that same suit on from the AMAs and then the collar of his shirt is worn open. So it's making it lean that more like a cool contemporary vibe. Coming down to JK, I love, 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 love this short suit with the tie dye effect. And I love the fact that they've styled it with the hoodie underneath. His personal style, all black, lots of cozy jackets and hoodies. So I like the fact that they've incorporated that into this look. And then obviously J-Hope. This suit is beautiful. All of the embellishment along the shoulders, down the arms, down the legs. It really stands out. And when you think of the composition of the shot itself, where they've placed everyone and the different tones that they've used, it really creates this beautiful like triangular composition. And the fact that you've got RM and J-Hope in the darkest outfits on opposite sides, it brings your eye to the middle because that's where the lightest colors are, Jimin and then it brings your eye down to J-Hope on the sides. So you really do get a full view of everyone. It's not like you're distracted by one member. Moving on to the next cover, this is my favorite. I just love that there's this really strong 80s sportswear campaign vibe about the cover. I love, again, the composition. I love the colors. The colors are so beautiful. And then that there's the hints of prints, there's hints of that varsity vibe going through. V is just 
glaring into the camera in that beret. And I like the fact that he's the only one in white and I believe this is the look that he's wearing on his GQ cover. I just, I love this. Jin in the beret, the beautiful checkerboard, like foresty green suit. And then that flash of the black and white checkerboard. It's such a beautiful combination. And then that zip neck sports top underneath worn open. When you first glimpse it, it could be a wingtip collar shirt because you're getting that triangular shape. But when you zoom in, you can really see that zip detail. And then with the beret, that's just so sick. Like. I could just sit and look at this cover all day. It is my favorite out of the three Vogue covers easily. The colors in this image work so perfectly. And even though Jimin has got like the rainbow jacket on where he's got that purple roll neck underneath, and then you can see the squares of purple in Jin's jacket, it ties it in. The pink contrasts, but it's not contrasting so much that is all you look at is Jimin. The way it's been styled with that purple roll neck really ties it in nicely. And then the fact we've got RM, Jungkook and Sugar in the black and the yellow, it pulls their looks together. J-Hope in the all black. And then V's look is the white. There are elements of white in the other members looks. So it ties it in. And I don't know if it is, but to me, it looks like the trim of the beret has this slight yellowy tone. So again, it pulls it into the looks. Looking closely at J-Hope's all black look, it looks really sick. It looks like this padded kind of vest, but it's been incorporated into tailoring. I really like the effect of it. It's incredibly graphic. And then Sugar has that like college 80s kind of varsity vibe going on. And so does RM, that Louis Vuitton spring 2022 jacket. I love this like rainbow ski jacket on Jimin. It's like, the collar pop, the perfect oversized shape. It looks like it's been like snatched in at the waist. So, so good. And just Jimin with the black hair. I love Jimin with the black hair. Favorite fucking cover. I'm obsessed with it. Jungkook's look also has that kind of sporty vibe. You can just see from the jacket, it has that stripe detail down the sleeve. It's got that Louis Vuitton checkerboard and it looks like a sporty kind of fabric. And then V's white look. We'll get into that when it comes to his cover on GQ, but just, wow, wow. <laughs> Moving on to the final Vogue cover, what I really like about this cover is that it really relates back to the Louis Vuitton show that I reviewed on my channel, the Fall Winter 2021 collection. If you've not seen that, I'll leave it linked in the description box. But the scaffolding, it ties into the set of that show, and I think that's just insanely clever. And with these looks here, it's the perfect balance of the blue and the black. And these looks have that sportier vibe. This insane puffer jacket on Jin, which we see later on in the film. And then Jungkook next to him in that nylon looking zip through jacket with the shorts. They're giving us the sporty vibe. RM's look, the draped top that like cascades down in the back. It's so beautiful. Again, I believe we see it later in the film. And then J-Hope has this fleecy looking zip through that's really graphic. What I love about Louis Vuitton, as I always say in every Louis Vuitton video, is that they just reinvent their branding and their monogram every single time. This checkerboard on the jumper is like the checkerboard on the bags, but it's obviously been blown up really, really big. And then we've got Louis Vuitton across the chest. It's just incredibly smart. And then he's got those blue cargo trousers and I would assume that they've got the Louis Vuitton monogram on them. We've seen it on denim pieces from them in the past and zooming in, it does look like there's some kind of motif on them, but obviously the more I zoom, the more pixelated it gets. And then we've got Jimin, V and Sugar balancing us out in the black looks. Again, giving us that sporty vibe. Jimin in the jacket with the hood up, the pose sporty kind of like IG baddie vibes and then we've got V again it's very sporty the knee pads I'm like okay god the ski boots the shorts I really like this styling for V as well because I feel like it's slightly different from that very tailored look that we see him in and then Sugar giving us this reflective moment you can see that it's a nylon style sporty jacket it's got that Louis Vuitton monogram on it and then the silver reflective elements of the jacket. It makes me think of that keep wall bag that is in that metal looking leather with the Louis Vuitton monogram and the black trousers and then the trainers tying all the colors together. I love it. Right, let's move on to the film. 
I love that we start with that 80s cover. It's tie-dye. Oh. I love the music as well. It's like so pacey. Oh shit, it was purple. Just every single look slaps. Snatched. I really like that as well. They start with the Vogue cover and then the end, they end on that group GQ cover. Talk about a collaboration. Right, let's go through and dissect this. We're starting off with this 80s cover. Already spoke about this. JK's look, the sporty set, the tie dye. What I think is really interesting is that this is probably exactly the same outfit that he's wearing in that black and white cover, but they've given the tie dye blazer to match over the top. And what I really like about black and white images is that when you see the colored version, you never know what color it's gonna be. You just can't tell. This easily could have been grayscale, black and white, but the fact that it's blue and you see it in color, it just gives it that little edge. This jacket, Jimin's jacket, just the colors of it is so beautiful. And you can, the logo looks like it's embossed in the fabric. I'm obsessed with J-Hope's look. On that cover, the 80s cover, it looks black. I don't know if it's been edited black. I don't know whether it's been lit like that, but the purple will be tying into Jimin's look into the knitwear and pulling it all together. And then that blue trouser with the checkerboard down at the Louis Vuitton belt, such a sick look for J-Hope. This coat blows me away. It's literally like two puffer coats in one. It's literally like oversized to the floor drama. This is a statement showpiece. And then you can see that it's got that hemline that sits at the hips, like a more traditional fit of a puffer jacket, the way it's double layered. And then the Louis Vuitton monogram on it, the really sick paneling on those chest pieces. It's so, so beautiful. And like I said about V in the sporty look on that cover, it's nice to see Jin in a sporty look because his style is usually very classic and clean. RM's look is really beautiful with the blue tones and then the blues of the background projected on the wall. And I like the fact that the outfit is all black and it's quite a simple silhouette, that crew neck piece of knit, the straight cut trousers, the black shoe. And initially I thought it might've been a scarf or a piece of printed fabric that they've used to create the draping. But when you see the shot of it up close, it looks like a coat and I don't know what they've done to style it. It looks like they've tied it around his chest and it's billowing down in the back. It just looks so beautiful within the setting on video and then it photographs so well as well in that moody black and white moment. I'm just obsessed with Jimin's. The snatched waist, the way the colors come down and then the fact that the belt is that greeny yellow tone so it really contrasts against the pink and the blue, and then you've got the pink buckle on the belt. Just the color selections is sick. V's been styled in the suit from the AMAs and the fabric does like a different fabric to me. It looks more like a traditional suiting fabric, more so than the heavier fabric that they had on the red carpet and it works so much better here. And he's still got that exaggerated point collar, the skinny tie snatched in at the waist. And you can see the hooks that they've used for the belt. I do think that is a super beautiful detail. And then Sugar's look, it's a really nice balance of the classic and the contemporary, the long black coat, that silky shirt underneath with the chain, the hat that's tying into the colors that Jimin's wearing. And then the really, really sporty trainers with the black trousers and the white socks. It's very contemporary menswear. Moving on to the GQ covers, starting with the group shot, we've got another black and white portrait. Do I prefer the Vogue cover, the black and white one? Yes, just because it's moodier, I feel like the colors are balanced more and the composition is more interesting. This is still a beautiful portrait shot and all of the looks are so good. Like the sportier edge to these looks compared to the Vogue looks, it gives it a great point of difference already but I just, I just preferred the moodier lighting. It's just more my vibe, okay? 
I feel in this set of looks here, we've got more of the monogram. You can see on RM, he's got that monogram shelling coat. Then on Jin, he's got that very classic SB coat. It's probably more than a three button where the break of the collar is starting quite high, but you can see he's got that monogram on the chest. And then J-Hope's got the more abstract version on the puffer coat. And then coming down to V in the middle, you can see he's got the monogram incorporated into the check of that trouser. And then when it comes to Jimin, Sugar and JK, their branding is more subtle. You can see that Jimin's just has little LVs placed over his outfit on the cuffs of Sugar's coat, the turnbacks, you can see that blown up monogram. And then JK's, to me, it just looks like the LV logo going across the belt is the obvious branding. So like the Vogue cover, the monogram was very subtle and that's been incorporated into the styling here. And the same use of the black and white portraiture is very cohesive between the two publishers slash magazines, whatever you want to call it. Starting with Jungkook's cover, I love how the color of the text is tying into that minty color of his hair. I loved this hair color on him. And the fact he's kind of got like the contacts to match. It's very clean, it's a very chic shot. It's a very simple shot when it comes to the styling, the black roll neck and the chain. And I feel like they're really highlighting the piercings, the brow piercing, the lip piercing, all of the ear piercings. It's just very clean. And the shot is more about him than the styling. V's cover, I think V's cover might be my favorite because I just love this styling so much. He looks so good in a beret. It makes me incredibly jealous. And we can see here that he's got that flash of the yellow and the orange around the trim of his hat, like I thought when I was reviewing the Vogue cover. But I just love the different textures, that sheer layer around the neck, and then this V-neck cotton layer, and then the wool flannel jacket over the top, that beautiful texture, the peak lapel, the beautiful brooches, that gold chain coming across, the dog tag Louis Vuitton chain around the neck. The styling is just so good. And the way it's been photographed has got this like a light blue like tinge to it. And it really contrasts against the background and the yellow that they've used on the font. Such a beautiful cover. Jimin's cover is super cute and it's got more color to it. So in my mind, that makes it tie back to that really colorful look on that 80s vibe though cover. I really, really love that. And then again, his styling has been kept very clean. He's got almost this pajama style shirt on with that really heavy chain. And it's more about him. Even the earrings and the accessories have been kept very simple. And I just, I just love it. It's so cute. Like the swishing of the mouth. It's killing me. And then where, you know, we've got the black hair, the black look, the pink background really contrasts nicely and makes him stand out off of the page or out of the image. Depends if you're looking at it digitally or not, okay. J-Hope's cover, he is in that beautiful abstract monogram. It looks like exactly the same look from the group GQ cover, but this is obviously in color. And it's that, it looks like the shirt that, um, v wore when they were flying to New York for like the UN summit, but he's got the matching jacket over the top. And I like the fact that they've kept the background blue because it looks like he's coming out of it. And then the contrasting red with the font, it really pops out. And then it ties into the necklaces that he has around his neck, like the little strawberry. I feel like you can see a little LV monogram in red. It's just such a good shot. And I love, love like, the wet kind of effect look hair. My bias record is just doing it for me again. Sugar's cover is probably my second favorite cover. I love the use of the green in the text and how it ties into the ring on the finger and then that really sporty trainer and how the trainer really juxtaposes against this really slick suit. This is the suit that they wore to the AMAs, but as I mentioned, Multiple times earlier on in the video, I believe that it is a different fabric. The fabric that they wore to the AMAs, it looked like a flanneled wool, which is quite a heavy wool, whereas this looks like a more traditional suiting fabric. And you can see like the really strong silhouette of the shoulders, the exaggerated peak lapel, double breasted, snatch waist. And a lot of you were hating on the suits of the AMAs, I think purely because of like the crumpling and they weren't looking perfect, but in this fabric, freshly steamed, it looks perfection. And that open collar, the trainer, it's just contemporary menswear and it's the shit that I love. So I love this. And then 
the background, the very warm gradient, it just really contrasts nicely and makes him stand out. And he's got that same kind of lighting on the face. It's just such a beautiful shot. Jin's cover is very sleek. It's very simple and it's very classic. And I feel like it represents his style perfectly. He's got this very sharp boxy jacket on. You can see how sharp that shoulder is and you can see how boxy the jacket shape is. And it's quite a contemporary cut with how the quarters cut and it comes down to the mid thigh. It's a really nice silhouette on him. And then the styling has been kept quite clean. The white shirt, the black tie, the chains worn over the tie, that Louis Vuitton dog tag. And the fact that the rest of the cover is in the grayscale to match his portrait, apart from the Polaroids of him, I'm guessing from behind the scenes of the shoot, it's really unique, but it's still very much to his taste and how he styles himself. Finally, RM shot, another black and white shot, the grayscale being pulled through into the font, the text, whatever you want to call it, of the magazine. And we're getting to see more of the suit from the Vogue cover. And I want to know why he was not wearing this suit at the AMAs, because look at this proportion on him. When it comes to tailoring, RM always seems, well, RM's stylists seem to have problems dressing him. Whereas look at this, look how clean and amazing this looks. The sharp shoulder coming down, snatched in at the waist with the belt. It's a very flattering on him. And you can see that this jacket is longer than that crop jacket he was wearing at the AMAs. It suits his body so much better. He has that clip detail at the break of the jacket, which is where the lapel folds back on the arms. Why wasn't he wearing this at the AMAs? Because this looks incredible on him. And then I don't know whether he's got one of the Louis Vuitton phone cases on a chain around his neck, or maybe like a little bag or something. You can see the Louis Vuitton monogram, that leather detail, and then the chain around the neck. I'm honestly like, why was he not wearing this at the AMAs? Because this looks perfection on him. <laughs> this collaboration was super sick. BTS, GQ, Vogue, Louis Vuitton, four powerhouses coming together and it's just such a beautiful selection of covers and the fashion film, the looks, everything, perfection. And we'll expect nothing less. Please let me know in the comments who has your favorite cover, but what you should do next is go check out my Mama Red Carpet Fashion Review. I'll leave a little card in the top screen here as well as a link in the description box. But thank you so much for watching. A massive thank you to everyone who has subscribed. You are brilliant. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.